something. But isn't this data already living in your computer system, in your billing system, your EHR system? It's there. It is, but it's there, but it's in 10 different reports that I have to run each. Even if I had my office manager run the reports, I still have to look at these lines and lines of reports 10 different times to get the few answers that I want to see right. quickly. And so this just does it. When you have a system, I don't even run the reports. My office manager runs them. They get put into the dashboard and then... A minute later, we have all of the information that we can talk about in real time without having to go to 10 different spreadsheets to look at them. Yeah, the one thing that I learned, Herb, the one thing that I learned when I did my MBA was there was a CEO, I forget who he was, it was a lesson that he would walk around to all the departments every week and just walk into there and say, I need you to tell me what is it that I need to know that I don't know. Yeah, that, that so was my- enlightening to me. Yeah, absolutely. And and then this is because I'm a pediatrician, right? So I'm obsessive compulsive. A little. <laughs> and I'm constantly looking for variants. Anything that doesn't look like it's supposed to look means there's a problem. Mm-hmm. And I tell pediatricians this all the time. You should have no problem with data. You should own data because we've been doing data for 50 years and mm-hmm. it's called the growth curve. Mm-hmm. When people tell me, what is my baby weight? I don't know, because I don't care. I look at the growth chart. Mm-hmm. If the child is trending in the same percentile for head, circumference, weight, and height, whatever they weigh is what it's supposed to weigh. Now, you give me in what Kathleen is saying, in the old days, before she was born, and we were practicing, George, you looked at the chart, and it said, Kids 20 pounds. Oh, I don't know what that means. Is that good, bad, or indifferent? But even then, we had the growth curves, remember? And the nurses had to do the ruler and go the month and make the little dot until I looked at that little uh, thing that, that the AAP made, the growth curve. I didn't know what that 20 pounds meant. And that's what a dashboard is, the growth curve for your practice. Mm-hmm. You just open up one page and you know whether the child's growing right or not. Yeah. And it doesn't it take much idea. work because you know when you see a teenager, I see a teenager, Dr. Wani sees a teenager, she's female, and she's fallen off the growth curve. Well, there's a problem. Mm-hmm. She might have a GI problem, an immune problem. She may be depressed. But now I got to figure out why she was at the 50 percentile and she did this. Whoops. Off the curve. Yeah. And that is the dashboard every pediatrician knows. Yeah. And we've been using it for 50 years. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think a lot of people, unfortunately, use the key performance indicator of the bank account. As long as there's money in the bank, we're doing good. And yeah. then there's no money in the bank. Oops. <laughs> 